all, this is Deaconess Aisha Boykin of the Holy Tabernacle Church of Brockton and Judah Ministries International, here today with the good news from the sanctuary. I have a few scriptures that I'll be using today, but the main one is coming from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 17. And it reads, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. So many years ago, I had given a gift to some people that were acquaintances of my friend. I cannot remember if I gave them money or food, but what I do remember is when I gave whatever I gave to them, I was annoyed. I didn't give the gift to them because I really wanted to, but rather because I could sense that they had a need. They didn't have enough money to get something for themselves, and I knew that, but I also did not have a good attitude when I gifted them. As I said, I can't remember um, what it was, and I don't know uh, if I was audibly sighing, but I believe that when I gave them the gift, they knew. Uh, They probably did know that I wasn't very enthusiastic about helping them in their time of need. There is something about when you help someone, but you really don't want to. And from time to time, I remember that occasion and those people, and especially my bad attitude. I did read Colossians already, Colossians 3.17, but again, uh, just to read it one more time, it says, um, Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. In other words, whatever, and if I could say capital letters for whatever, whatever you do, do it as though you are serving God. Do it with love, do it with intentionality, do it with kindness, and do it with the strengths that God gives you. Don't do it the way I did many years ago, where my attitude was like, here, take it. And though I was providing a help to these people that I had mentioned earlier, I didn't really do much good that day because my heart wasn't in the right place. In fact, it probably would have been better had I not given to them at all. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9 and 7 says, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And we give in many ways. And interestingly enough, All that we have to give, we only have because God gave it to us in the first place. In 1 Corinthians, um, excuse me, the 12th chapter, we read that all who are in the body of Christ have been given spiritual gifts. In addition to these spiritual gifts, God gives all of us abilities and he gives us talents as well. Uh, In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 7, it says, Now there are varieties of gifts but the same spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. And verse 11 in that same chapter says, all these are empowered by one and the same spirit who apportions to each one individually as he determines or as he wills. So a question would be, what are your gifts? And are you using them? But most importantly, are you using them as unto the Lord? There's a difference between offering your gifts in the way that 2 Corinthians 9 and 7 describes the cheerful giver versus throwing your gifts at someone. And I'm not speaking literally about throwing gifts at someone, but my point is, is that we can use our gifts, but with a bad attitude in a way that God may actually not be pleased. It's not just about the gift, but it's also about how you use the gift, how you give the gift. It's not just about the service, but it's about the manner in which you are serving. We are not perfect. And so our gifts won't look like perfection when we use them. But we should remember, as it says in Colossians 3.24, that when we serve, 
we are working for the Lord. Our gifts may not even manifest or look the same as God has made us all individually, and he gives us these gifts as he determines. Whatever your gifts, whatever your abilities, whatever your talents, whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing you are working for the Lord, as Colossians 3 tells us. God bless.